she keeps the disciple by his side and closely in secret just in because if others here people who are not adhikaris our entire vedanta is based on adhikaritva adhikaritva means there are various qualifications if you are qualified only for 10 then you can only enter inter 12 if you are qualified for inter you can join only ba or something like that if you are done ma then you can go for post graduation if you are done for post grad then only you can go for your mphil so at the various stages there are adhikaris so here also we believe in the various adhikaris for the various types and the class is not meant for the brilliant fellow alone the class is meant for all so you have to take the dull fellow along with the most brilliant fellow you have to take him that is why the shastras give all the methods from the lowest to the highest but who will know if you read the book you may not know you will simply take whatever you like ha ah, see what i you think krishna himself has told you will leave the other thing what he has told or you will only tell so that is why you require a guru a family doctor if you go to any doctor you like suppose you i get a pain i go to some doctor he will give me some medicine and i give some trouble because previously i have had my operation for intestine so that affects my intestine again now even the family doctor he knows my entire history he will say no 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 this medicine should be given i'll give you something else that is why we go to the family doctor the family doctor knows your constitution so ya guru knows the constitution so there are only two things from which we can know about god word and all that one is the scriptures called the vedanta and the vedanta is all written in sutra rupa often enough because aparoksha priya hi deva ha see the god do not want that everything should be explained very clearly and all that so they want to keep something put them in a symbolic way so that can be interpreted only by a guru even those gurus are not able to do it properly because each one interprets in a different way and that is also correct because as i told the story of damadvam dayadvam datta the only he says brahma and the three people interpret in three different but they are correct all the three are correct according to your vasanas you get the guru you like you get the guru you deserve and he knows what is your constitution then accordingly it comes to you it need not be the same for all it could be different for different people and so that those people who are agreeable to him should have the strong conviction this is the only method nanya pantha ayana yavidyate that's all there is no other thing that's what everybody should think that is why she says this is the only way not because he is uh, uh, ignorant or he has not reached he has to say that there are people who are his followers only others may come and go for half an hour for their sake he cannot uh, make them have doubts when they will ever have doubts that is so how many teachers the party say the other thing is also good who knows that may be a shortcut for me so this fellow will be neither here nor there we call it itav brashta tato brashta so that is what will come so naturally for that purpose this is told now the question is in vedanta the ultimate what what do we know from vedanta brahma satyam jagan mithya divo brahmai ve kevalam that jivo brahmai ve kevalam is the main thing that is in other words brahma atma aikya bhava the under person identification of the individual soul with the supreme soul called the brahman the jiva and the brahman are only one the same the brahman or the supreme god is nowhere somewhere away from you 1000 kilometers off sitting in a kailas or a vaikuntha he is very much here you are that tatvam asi but this is a knowledge it is not sufficient if you just read it from books or when i told then you don't become that immediately you say swami ji something he tells is what that the duty to tell like that and the question of tatva was he where is god where am i you will have your doubts there is that viparita bhavana samshe bhavana so you get doubts you you not you see doubt means where you are not aware at least you have got a free mind in viparita bhavana already you have decided something against it say what that fellow is i am doing everything this body alone is the atman so this is called viparita bhavana you have 
see something which is not true, you are hundred percent convinced that it remove it, it will take lakhs of births. There is a real problem there. So, to remove that, all these things are required, your guru is required. But there is a, there is a theory, Siddhanta, and there is a practical thing called sadhana. Sadhan, sadhana are two different terms. Sadhan means the instrument, the equipment through which you reach your target. Sadhana means the spiritual practice, whatever those instruments are, adopting it and doing it daily becomes sadhana. So sadhan and sadhana are the two different things. Now, Haryom Mahesh Ji. Today, uh, we thought we started with Ake Chudamani. Uh, Acharya has written that uh, Narajanma Durlabham. See, to get a human, to be born as a human being is one of the greatest of boons. Then, Tatrapi to be born as a Purusha or a Puma. So his question was, do you mean to say that only men can attain God? So this is uh, chauvinistic. So then I said, this is not that. This only means the quality of a, of a man's body. In the olden days, the women were never allowed to express their free will because these are all in those days, they are talking from that time. Because the sadhanas are meant for the people at that time. So they cannot do anything unless they ask their husband. The husband will say, you ask my father and mother. You have to ask the father-in-law and mother-in-law. Sometimes the sister-in-law will also have her vote. So you have to consult all of them and the only she can do. Even if they say, don't do any puja in this house, no puja is allowed. I have told there is a case where she, 50 years she never did any puja. Even though from childhood she used to come to our Vajtagua, they were all coming to my Gurudev and all these things. She couldn't. And he retired as a general manager of the Reserve Bank of India, that gentleman. So you can't help such things. So you should have that aggressiveness. Um, ignore everybody like Meera, I don't care for the husband, I don't care for the kingdom, I don't care for the, even for the uh, Abhipraya of the Loka. The public opinion, I damn care. Let them call me mad, let them call me anything, I don't care. So that sort of an aggressiveness should be there. You have to take the title by force, you have to fight and break the citadel to pieces and pieces. That is that. There is no Krishna simply saying, Oh, uh, Bhushan Apavarno. That will be the very last stage. Before that, you have to go and break all the Avarana by your continuous Brahmakara Vritti, uh, by continuously thinking of the Lord. Uh, again and again and again, there is nothing else but that. That alone will go and break the entire, uh, that enveloping, that one. Uh, which is enveloping the Lord. And that which envelops is so attractive, you would like to break it. That is why he called it so, uh, Hiranmayana Patrena Satya Sabhita Mukha. It is so attractive, you go to break it. No, no, it is so nice. How can I break it? That is the real problem there. That is why he put it so attractive. It is gold. Who would like to break the gold? That is the real problem. So you have to have the aggression. That is with that we started. Then we wanted to know whether there are so many opinions, there are so many gurus, each one says my own method is the best method. Even in Vedanta there are so many theories. So we just said what is Vedanta and what is given to Upanishads? What is the ultimate thing? What are the sadhans by which we can get? So we said let us have a small synopsis of it. So, um, so we were starting by saying the entire Vedanta, it's all in sutra form. What is sutra? It's a small formula. If somebody says P V by T is equal to constant, if it comes back down, you will not know what is V, what is V, what is T, what is meant by that. So unless somebody has been able to say, because they have known the original people, but today when it came to you, you didn't know the explanation. It came as baby by the Darda Sutra. Sutra means Alpaksharam, Asandigdham. Saravati, 
Vishwatomugham, Astobham. So like that they have given what is the Sutra. Absolutely the wordings are very clear. But the wordings alone will not tell that P is very clear, B is very clear. But what is P? What is V? That is what I want. That is why. So they put only this much minimum. That's called Alpakshara. Only a few words are there. So this is called the formula. So in the formula they are given. So we won't be able to understand. It has to be done. See what is given in the book. As I said, the purpose of the entire Vedanta is tell us about the relationship between God, the individual soul and the world. Because these are the three things which are confusing us. Where we are completely, we are being drowned. The one or other catches us by the heels. And if we get into the heels, it catches us by the head. So either way. So, Vedanta's ultimate purpose is as Shankara has uh, told it, Brahma Satyam, Jagan Mithya, Jeevo Brahma Yvakevalam. There the emphasis on the last, Jeevo Brahma Yvakevalam, Brahma Atma Aikya Bhave Arthaha. And uh, that is actually called Shravana Dutta. That is one of the first steps. People have translated Shravana as hearing. The three steps by which the Vedanta is learnt are Shravana, Manana, Nididhyasana. Shravana means hearing. Manana means contemplation about it, repeated contemplation. And Nididhyasana means to have the mind completely engrossed on only in one subject and not go anywhere so that it is not being agitated by the various thoughts. So these are the three methods. Then the Shravana people think Oh, hearing is very good. So that is why, unfortunately, even though Shankara was the main teacher in the Advaita, not the main teacher, it has been much earlier. He was the one who again brought it to the fore and brought the importance to us that is there. But there, there became two schools of thought. One is called the Vivarana school of thought. The other one was called the Bhamati school of thought. The Vivarana school of thought, that is the main interpretation, uh, that was sponsored by one Prakashananda Yeti, who was the Shishya of Padmapada, who was one of the four Shishyas of Shankara. So that was Vivarana. Then the Bhamati Prasthana, uh, that was found by one Vachaspati Mishra, who wrote the book. All his life he spent in writing the book. He also came from the Shankara Parampara. The first one, the Vivaranakara says, it is enough if you hear about the truth, you just to hear that Atman is the Brahman, that is sufficient, there is no other sadhana needed, that alone is sufficient, this is one of the Vivaranakara's mata. This has been sponsored by known as the person as Padavada, naturally Padavada is disabled as marriage. That is the Vivaranakara method. But the Bhamatikara says, no, Sadhana is not required to obtain the Brahman or the God. God is already obtained Nitya Upalabdha Vastu, Nitya Siddha Vastu, that which is always there. There is no question of getting it and striving for it. There is no question. It is there. You are that. I am that. So it is not that alone. But hearing it alone, according to Bhamati, is not sufficient. There are a lot of pratibandhas. Pratibandhas means impediments in the way of understanding. You have told, I have heard it, but it may not be in the mind because lakhs and lakhs of words we have been hypnotized into thinking, I am the body, I am the body, I am the body. Shantananda means the man with this one who is uh, 79 years old. So this is how we have always been read to think for lakhs and lakhs. It is so deep rooted. Every cell of yours, out of a million cells, every cell is convinced that this is the uh, Shantananda. So to remove it, you require some sadhana. To get things is not the sadhana. It is there. It is with you. But there are pratibandhas which do not allow you to understand. So as it, you require definitely some sadhanas which will be there to remove the pratibandhas to remove the impediments on the way to the understanding of the Mahavakyas, of these great maxims which they say as Tattvamasi, 
or Dhyanam Brahma and all these things. There is a small story. Janaka's Guru Yajivalkya told he belonged perhaps to Vivaranakana, whatever it is. He said, Aham Brahmasmi? No, he belonged to the Bhamatikara perhaps. Aham Brahmasmi, you go and go on repeating it, you will become the Brahman. So it is called the Ahangra Upasana. This is all in one of these prasthana. That is there also. So he, when he was sitting alone in the Ganges Tat, Janakati, he was known as Videha, and he was telling Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi. Ashtavakra, the great sage who had eight deformities in his body, he was passing through. He saw this man. They didn't know each other, but he knew this is Janaka. What he did, he was having a commander in one hand and he was carrying a staff, a danda in another hand. He began to shout loudly. There was nobody else, only these two. This Kamandalu is mine, this uh, Danda is mine, this staff is mine, this Kamandalu is mine. You are shouting. He wanted some lonely place, so he has come here. So he got annoyed. He went to another corner. Again this man went, before. he started Ahamramasi, he also went and he started uh, this uh, Kamandalu Mera, hai. this one is mine, this is mine. Then Janaka called him, oh old man, Namaskar. There is nobody to dispute you. This commander is yours. You. This danda is yours. Why are you unruly shouting? He says, there is no doubt you are the Brahman. Why the hell are you shouting that I am the Brahman? I am the Brahman. Be the Brahman. Don't <laughs> say that I am the Brahman. Be the Brahman. <laughs> Be the Brahman. Be the Brahman means not saying that from today I am the Brahman. And then when the bell goes, oh, Bell ho gaya, khane ke liye. Don't doubt na much. Brahman doesn't require food. Remind. If you don't cook today, tomorrow somebody will say, Oh, uh, Shantananda has not come today. So Kardaji will come in. Swamiji, you didn't take. So he will go and bring something from there. No, no problem. And if it doesn't come also, you are not going to die. You are Amara. The body may die. Where are you born? So when that idea has not come, saying I am Brahman will not do. That is there. There is no question. You are doing everything. Even this, yes, the Gita says, there is no harm in doing the minimum activities which will sustain your body. Shariram kevalam karma kurvan na apnoti kilpisham. Yes, this is not meant for the higher religious soul. This is meant for an ordinary man. Whenever you have become the Brahman, the question of anything in the world doesn't arise, nothing arises. You will not go for, go to the lettering, you will not go, you may be pausing there itself. You don't bother, 100 persons may come and they may get Jugupsa. There were people like that. There was so many, he was sitting on a tree. There itself was pausing everything. And for miles around there used to be a Sugandha. There used to be a fragrance. He lived uh, in 1940s and all that. He was very much there. In Karnataka, in one of the jungles in Karnataka. Um, so all these things are there. So the final wordings of the entire Vedanta is to know that I am that. That is all. Jiva, at, uh, I mean Atma, Brahma, Brahma, Atma, Aitya Bhava. That is there. And to know this first, that this is what the Vedanta says. Knowing this is called the Shravana. Shravana doesn't mean going and simply hearing and going away. It is told, um, Vedanta nam asheshanam adi madhya avasanataha jiva atma aikya bhavaha aikya bhave arthaha iti dhihi shravanam bhavati shravanam uchate that's all this is vakyapati yar i mean siddhantri sangraha so it comes there what is shravana shravana means after reading, after hearing from the Guru about the Vedanta, what does the Vedanta say? In the beginning, in the middle, at the end, it says only one thing. Remember that the, the so-called individual soul, it is ultimately the real Brahman, but the Brahman, when once it has come in it, due to some avidya, due to some ignorance, nobody knows how that madness came by which we began to think that we are that body. See, the Vedanta cannot tell you the why and how of so many things, nor has anybody told till today, neither the Puranas nor the Vedas. 
they cannot tell how the avidya has come nobody knows avidya is not the opposite of vidya vidya means knowledge so absence of knowledge is avidya no na vidyate iti avidya that which never existed we do not know the world never existed but it looks even well. everything is solid this is solid i spent eight lakhs for this building this and how can you say it is false every day i was thinking it came this much this much this much this much this room was built i was present here yeah. so how can you say it is false so so now the things so the first thing shravana begins by knowing this much and then the sadhana has to be now the sadhanas have been divided into three categories there is the practices how to do what are the sadhana what are the instruments through which you can achieve it there are three types of instruments one is called the sampradayika sadhana sampradayika sadhana the second one it is called as um, karana shuddhi then the uh, the last one is called the sakshat sadhana the sakshat sadhana is the vivarana karasmata the what is the sort of other than you do not why are you suffering because you do not know that i am that brahman know this remain quiet over this direct no doubt but how many can do this directly not all unless in the various janmas earlier you have already through the punya paripaka you already reached a lot and then only you can come to this stage now the people who are born like raman maharshi they were not atyashramis what is atyashrami atyashrami is beyond all these various ashramas he is beyond sanyasa he is beyond paramamsa he is beyond avadhuta and that state is called atil um, ati means to uh, go away ullangya ullangana so he is beyond the ashramas he never took sanyas there were five such atyashramis so far the first one was called vamadeva vamadeva while yet in the womb of the mother he relish because all the pradivanda was over in the previous but this 7 to 8 months inside the womb um, that pradivanda that uh, prarabdha was over now he is a fully enlightened person so while in the one it comes in the vedas he shouts because the enlightenment has come he says aham manurabhavam aham chandrasa suryascha are i was the manu i am the moon i am the sun he began to shout there is a intermediate stage when you see a reach 100% you will not shout because there is no need to shout i and that i when the ocean has entered the drop and the drop has been mixed up in the ocean where is the drop to come and say i got enlightenment so it cannot that is all so whoever says he is on the border line he has not yet crossed to pakistan he is still <laughs> in the border then he looks at the other portion now all these sadhans who will tell you the books will tell but you do not know which you have to turn off which you should stop start first and that is why a guru is required so in the atyashrami who is an atyashrami 18 shlokas or so which is given in sukha samhita and it has been repeated by vidyaranya in his book jeevan muti viveka is a beautiful one and in atyashrami it is said he will never have a guru in that path but he would have got a guru so you cannot quote him and say that there is no guru needed yes in theory and siddhanta no guru is needed the guru is here you are that then he is the guru even if you have forgotten he will himself make you come we need a guru but it is not all who can make use of this guru who is hiding inside so for them this very guru who is inside he takes an external form and comes to you as a guru and that guru is a sachi when raman maharshi was asked is guru a necessity and the second one was you didn't have a guru he started he answered the second question first he said how did you know that i never had a guru in my previous births so that guru portion was over then number 2 she said you are asking is a guru a necessity for a child to be born is mother a necessity he asked in those days such a good baby was not known So he was this question. Is a mother a necessity? Mother is a necessity for the child. The yeah, guru is a necessity for anybody for this part in this part. And 
Supposing you get a guru who has a far different idea than so many other gurus, your friends are all saying, no, 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 your guru is wrong, yaar. this should be like that and all that, then you will get it. So you should have an utter faith and shraddha. That is called shraddha. Guru vakya, hatha shastra vakya cha, vishwasaha, shraddha iti chate. That is called the shraddha. You should have the 100% faith that my guru I have chosen, he is the best in the world, so what he says is correct. I don't care what others say. So that sort of uh, this thing you have to have that guru. So whatever you get the guru you decide. According to your adhikaritva the guru comes. A parikshit was such a one, the moment he knew seven days are left for me to die, if somebody were to come and tell me, if Yamadharma Raja used to send a chit, there are only seven days, you know what I will do? Kalidas Bhai only seven days are there. So you please see that every day I get some very good food, Dokla in the morning, and <laughs> Gadya Babdi in the noon. <laughs> so I will tell him, I will tell all these things which are required. Who will have that idea that all the life the man who has been in a bhoga, he is able to leave it one moment. He didn't even wait for his son to come and sit in the throne. He said, you look after it. He told the Kula Guru and all that and went and sat with a dhoti on this thing. And he said, I don't care whether Takshaka comes and bites me or not. Dayatu Vishnu Gathaha. You all go on seeing the names of the Lord. Now I'll be with the Lord and nothing else. My mind only will be with God. Who will tell like that? So when a Parikshit was such an eminent disciple, then he got an eminent guru called Shukadeva, who had never lived Godohana Matramihi. He needs to stay anywhere for more than half an hour. How much time does it take you to do this? Half an hour. That's all. More than that, he will never used to say. He comes there. The first question he asked is, Purusha Seha Kartavyam, Mriyamanas is Harvatha. A man is on his deathbed. He is going to die. So what is he going to do? See, normally when a Swamiji is asked for the first time any question, it is a straight begin to answer. He first takes the name of the Lord. He thinks of Him first. He does some other shlokas and then only He will start. But Shukadeva has never seen such a one who straight away began to ask, what is my duty, what should I do? Everybody used to say, sir, I am having some arthritis. Please, you give me some help by which it can be cured. Give me some mantra by which it can be cured. My father is having cancer. Please give me something, at least a vibhuti by which he can be cured. Nobody has ever asked him this question. He says, Variya Nishade Prishna. Tritam Dhoka Gitam Nirpa. This question you have asked is not going to help you alone. It is going to help lakhs and lakhs of people in the posterity to come. Everybody who hears the Bhagavata will have the answer. What is the life's end? What am I to do in this life? He says then, in one sentence he has given the answer. This same thing, Brahmatma Bhava, this all. He has finally told. He doesn't say do anything. The entire purpose of the Vedanta he has given one sentence. Tatma Bharata Sarvatma Bhagavan Isharohri Svartavyaha Kirtadavya Look here, there is only one thing to be done. Constant remembrance of that one Lord. Which Lord? Sarvatma. The one who is in all, that is Brahma Atma Ike Bhava The entire Vedanta comes in there. One sentence, Bhagavata is over. Question and answer is over. Rest is all only a commentary of this. That's all. The second one. And after going on talking, suddenly Shukadeva remembered, Oh my Lord, I have not thought of God at all. It straight away started. Then in the fourth Vajraya, in the second uh, Skanda, he goes on uh, 15 to 20 shlokas to make up for the power uh, for his laps. With penalty, he is giving stuti of the Lord, <laughs> of the ultimate Lord. This is what happens. So, the entire purpose is this, and there are sadhans. These sadhans you have to learn from a guru, then only because it is not simply hearing from a book and then doing. Supposing a book says how to swim, you take the book. First it says, fall on the water, you fall on the water. They say, uh, you, <laughs> you take both your legs and go on dashing and you will drown because you will not be reading the third line. So by reading a book you can't, you require a tutor. You require a tutor. 
That is why the knowledge which you get from outside of the world, physics, chemistry, uh, all these things, they are called tuition. What you get from inside from the Lord it is called intuition. <laughs> there are two words, tuition and intuition. And this is the difference between that. So, you look at a guru and you have to do all these sadhanas. The, the main sadhanas are the second and third, that is the Antakarana Shuddhi. Your inside is full of Ragadvesha and also the idea of um, he is different, I am different. So unless that goes, you can't come to the that I am that, that means everybody is the Brahman, Vasudeva, Sarvamiti, all are the same. So all the Jeevas are the Brahman only, except in Brahman there is nobody else. So this idea cannot come unless this Vedabhava goes. That he is different, he is different. That has to go. So, the sadhana chatushtya is prescribed there. You have to start with that. As I said, yes, Padmapada was no less in his knowledge than Shankara himself. See, in fact, it is told that uh, your guru should be defeated by his shishya. And that had happened in the case of Shankara. None of them were less Sureshwaracharya, etc. It's a beautiful Vartika for Kitriya and Vridharnika and all that. So, nobody is inferior, but the question is, each one went by a particular path and he gone.